The universe works in perfect divine order and harmony, and it is now guiding you to align with the timeline of your soul's highest destiny. Your life is about to be awash in transformation, and your angels are inviting you to trust in this amazing process because everything that now arises is here to serve your soul's highest purpose for this lifetime. We have officially entered into the first powerful eclipse season of 2023, and the energy doesn't get more exciting than this. So tune in with me and get ready to receive angel messages for the new moon solar eclipse cycle spanning from April 19th through May 4th, 2023. A solar eclipse marks an incredibly powerful new beginning. It is a cosmic event that, at the spiritual and consciousness levels of being, brings in a major rush of both creative and destructive energies. These energies initiate powerful endings that spark permanently life-changing new beginnings. The new moon solar eclipse in Aries, falling on April 19th or 20th, depending on your time zone, is going to jumpstart your life onto the timeline of your soul's higher destiny. In other words, anything that does not serve your soul's highest intentions for this lifetime is going to be bulldozed and cleared out in order to illuminate your purpose and help you to align with your purpose. This is happening at both a personal and collective level. So not only will you be given a clear vision and boost towards what you are destined to become, but humanity at large will also be guided to, to move towards our collective future destiny. According to the angels, that destiny is one that includes higher consciousness that can empower us to manifest a world of greater self-awareness, compassion, and eventually greater peace. We're in a long-term birthing process for that collective destiny right now, and we'll be experiencing both the miracle of birth and the birth pains that go with it throughout our entire lifetimes. So be patient with the process and humbly trust in the healing transformation we're all being guided through. Each eclipse marks a powerful, harmonizing leap forward for that growth and transformation. And for 2023, our first eclipse season, the one we're in right now, it's ruled by Mars, while the second eclipse season coming up in October will be ruled by Venus. Now, Mars and Venus in mythology were lovers. Mars represents passion, while Venus represents love. And according to the angels, wherever passion and love are present, we are moving into a sacred communion with the creator source. The angels wish to teach us that passion is the recognition of the presence of God, while love is the act of merging with God. Each eclipse creates powerful spiritual revelations, healings, or changes that echo throughout our lives for the next six months. With this Mars and Venus theme for the 2023 eclipses, we are clearly making powerful inner spiritual leaps towards recognizing the divine within ourselves and actualizing it. Now, as I mentioned, this new moon solar eclipse is in the sign of Aries, and it is ruled by the energy of Mars. So the characterizing energy of this eclipse cycle is going to be all about the inner warrior, the fierce protector, the initiator, and the mastery of self. Aries is a sign that strongly symbolizes the mastery of self, and we will have five orbiting bodies in the sign of Aries at the time of this solar eclipse, including the Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Chiron, and Eris. This means that there will be a strong, passionate drive to understand your true self and become the master of your true power, meaning that you'll be strongly guided to examine your desires and goals in life and ask, what has been holding me back? How must I transform myself in order to become the strong, disciplined warrior that can make my dreams come true and step up with strength as a co-creator for my life? This spiritual energy flowing into our collective right now is, in other words, an energy that is driving you to hold courage in facing your shadow. As you face and bring light to your shadow side, you'll be guided to heal and empower the divine masculine forces within you. We all have both masculine and feminine energies within us in equal measure, and this 
Mars ruled eclipse season is all about your divine masculine, while the October Venus ruled eclipse season will be all about your divine feminine. Now, there are three more very, very important cosmic aspects of this solar eclipse that we must discuss. First, this solar eclipse is occurring in the highly karmic 29th degree of Aries, which is the final degree of this sign. The final degree of any zodiac sign is considered a highly charged and karmic point and indicate, indicates a karmic event or destiny that is unfolding. It also indicates something coming to the point of closure, leaving space for the new to emerge. Now, eclipses are already events that bring about fated or karmic events, but this eclipse is doing that in an even more powerful way. It is aligning us with the highest source consciousness of the universe and is giving us a powerful infusion of light, signifying clearer self-awareness and a deep integration for all the karmic lessons that we've been receiving lately. Now, the second cosmic aspect of this eclipse we need to discuss is the fact that this is a very rare hybrid eclipse. Only about 3% of all eclipses are hybrid eclipses, meaning that it will start out as an annular eclipse where you can see a ring of fire around the sun and then transform into a total eclipse where the sun is completely blocked out. These incredibly rare hybrid eclipses represent a shift between two worlds, a powerful transition from one paradigm of being to another. The third major cosmic aspect of this eclipse cycle is that Mercury will be going retrograde in the sign of Taurus on April 21st, just a day after the afterglow peak eclipse energies. This Mercury retrograde has the potential to bring truth to light in the form of shocking news or revelations, especially surrounding earthy Taurus related matters such as finances, home and material belongings, all root chakra related concerns. So expect big energy shifts and lessons for your root chakra and root chakra areas of life, such as home, family, finances, safety, support, materials, physical supply, and your relationship with Mother Earth. Since this is such a huge time of intense change and therefore a huge opportunity for planting new seeds to manifest in your life, I invite you to set a new moon solar eclipse intention right now. Pause the video if you need to and grab your journal to write your intention down if that helps. Ask yourself what you truly want to transform, create, or change and dream big as you state your intention to your heart and to the universe now. Ready? Okay, let's go into the angels' messages. I have received four important angel messages on what to expect for the eclipse cycle ahead. All four of these messages will play a role in shaping your path, but I invite you to pick a number in your head right now. One, two, three, or four. Whatever number you feel the most drawn to will signify your strongest leading spiritual lesson and message for the path ahead. Ready? Let's dive in. The angel's first message for this eclipse cycle is all about emotional intensity. According to the angels, this energy is about to get intense and many of us will be feeling it by way of strong, volatile emotions. Change has the potential to feel quite turbulent, but your angels are now strongly encouraging you not to fear, suppress, or judge your emotions. Your emotions are simply messengers working on your behalf to communicate important inner truths and help you to balance and harmonize with yourself and your life. This emotional intensity is all part of this passionate Mars energy, which may drive in fierce feelings of protectiveness or defensiveness for what you care about. The deeper lesson of these emotions is to balance out that passionate, protective, warrior assertiveness with what is truly nurturing, what truly protects and nurtures you and what you care about. You're being guided to discover that then Clear out what doesn't serve you so that you can build a new and better way. So even if you're feeling an increase in impulsivity or reactivity, take a deep breath and pause before you react to things. Take time to process your emotions in a safe healing space and reflect upon what is truly most nurturing according to your self-love, your highest goals and values, and what is balanced for everyone involved. 
on a collective level, the angels are communicating that this fierce, protective, emotional energy is guiding us to let go of the limitations of the old world and see everyone as part of our family. We're being collectively guided away from an us versus them mentality and into a mentality of greater collective empathy and belongingness for all. That's a huge and radical healing. And one thing that is necessary in order for that healing to authentically take place is for us to embrace rather than suppress our pain. Pain avoidance is a common thing for us as human beings. But pain, just like every other feeling you have, is a very important messenger. Often pain is the most crucial messenger, bringing us the most important information needed with regards to what needs to change in order for real health and balance to occur. We can diffuse the more negative or warlike aspects of these fiery, intense energies by no longer suppressing pain, but instead giving ourselves permission to feel it with self-love and compassion, then release it as we come to understand its messages. Breathe deeply through all of your feelings. Ask your heart important questions on what you need to know about them. And trust that it is safe to feel and safe to transform during this time, as all of these transformations are in service of the highest divine good. The angel's second message for this eclipse cycle is all about deep spiritual healing. The solar eclipse will be conjunct the planet Chiron, representing the wounded healer, and both the sun and Chiron will be in the sign of Aries. The wounded healer in Aries is all about wounds around I am, or in other words, spiritual or emotional wounds relating to your identity and sense of self. This can encompass wounds pertaining to a lack of self-worth or feelings of powerlessness. More specifically, this can relate to childhood wounds since our childhood experiences shaped our sense of self. Pay close attention to the big emotions or shadows that rise to your awareness during this eclipse cycle because you're being guided to reprogram limiting or painful childhood conditioning, especially anything that made you feel as if your worth, your deservingness to exist or deservingness of love or deservingness of having a voice was conditional. The deep spiritual healing you're being guided through this eclipse cycle is to learn that you are unconditionally worthy of life, love, of having a voice, and therefore having power. You are being guided to heal anything that damaged your sense of belonging and value in this world. And there is a very specific reason for this. The wounded healer is incredibly sacred and powerful because it is the spirit that learns exactly how to turn a wound into a portal of light that leads directly to God. Your scars are about to become access points to the light. Your wounds are about to alchemize and transmute into strengths. If you are listening to these words, then your angels want you to know that you have incredible leadership power within you. You have the potential to heal and transform something big that will empower you to be a pioneer and a leader for a whole new way of thinking, seeing, and being. Now, at a collective level, this deeper level spiritual healing is helping us to cut out old toxicity relating to inequality and injustice in society in which we allow others to feel like outsiders, as if they're less worthy of belonging, love, and care. Remember, collective level wounds take longer to heal than personal individual ones and might look like temporary chaos on the surface, but this is all leading the way for a demolition of the old, worn out, and dysfunctional so that we can make way for the new. The angels are also communicating that the element of water will be deeply supportive for this spiritual healing. Water symbolizes emotion in the deep psyche, so this is first off telling us that we'll be facing, illuminating, and healing wounds at the deepest levels of our psyche. Be like water. Flow, trust, allow, and move in the natural direction of life's currents. You can also literally work with the water element to help you to clear and purge out old emotion and energy as you heal by, for example, taking a sea salt bath or swimming in a body of water out in nature. 
You can also call in your angels to bless your drinking water to help you with emotional detox. On a collective level, the angels are communicating that humanity's relationship with water may receive a boost of healing. Those who have a life purpose or soul mission related to cleaning up the oceans will be receiving big, important downloads during this eclipse cycle. And we may just be jumping to a faster timeline than we've imagined in the past with regards to cleaning up the oceans and other major bodies of water. The angels third big message for this eclipse cycle is all about root chakra reset. Your root chakra is the energy center located at the bottom of your spine, representing your relationship with safety, support, and the material world. Your root chakra houses your beliefs and relationships with your home, family, finances, Mother Earth, and material possessions. There is a huge upgrade and reset going on for your root chakra beliefs. According to the angels, you are about to experience a paradigm shift in which you will have the power to feel a greater degree of safety, security, and freedom in being a physical human being alive on this planet. You may feel guided to move to a new home or upgrade your current home in some way. And if so, there is a beautiful Venusian beautifying energy that will be flowing through you. Beauty, according to the angels, is pleasing to us because that which is beautiful can remind us of the fact that we live in a harmonious universe and that there are mysterious divine intelligent forces holding us in that harmony all the time. So this is a great time to beautify your home space and honor your sensuality with passion, with beautiful forms of self-expression. There's also a deep long-term spiritual renewal going on regarding your concept of your power. You are vast and powerful beyond belief, but in order to realize that, you have to feel safe enough to give yourself permission to be powerful. Your angels are inviting you to affirm, it is safe for me to be powerful. Because this is the lesson they are guiding into your life during this eclipse season. You are being guided to release anything limiting in your relationship with your finances, job, home, and material supply so that you can upgrade to something much better. You are being shown what was out of alignment in these areas of life so that you can transcend the limiting and claim greater freedom and manifest a stronger expression of your highest divine good in your earthly life. The angel's fourth and final message for this eclipse cycle is all about the manifestation of a new earth. A new earth is really a new collective level of consciousness that includes a higher degree of awareness. As humanity reaches a greater level of self-awareness and understanding, it empowers us to naturally rise into a higher level of compassion and empathy for one another. We are gradually learning that we are one and that we belong to one another. Our awakening to this truth will help us in upgrading our societies and cultures so that our world is a gentler, more inclusive, and more peaceful place for all. That higher level of peace has the potential to support us in making greater evolutionary leaps in our creative and technological abilities, all in harmony and unison with Mother Earth. The new consciousness that we're gradually birthing is one that realizes that we need not struggle against nature in order to survive, but that we can move with the forces of nature to create health, fertility, abundance, and well-being that supports and honors Mother Earth's web of life. As we human beings do our part to individually, uniquely prepare for that consciousness by way of doing our own inner healing work, the Earth is also preparing for it. From a spiritual energetic standpoint, the earth is making way for a new vibratory conscious grid or matrix of natural energy that will help us to hold and anchor this new level of awareness. With this, we may see geomagnetic changes, volcanic activity, new land being birthed from that volcanic activity, or an overall shift in how our energy bodies feel rooted into Mother Earth's energy body. All of these changes are bringing about lessons, messages, and healing in your relationship with the earth. At a personal level, your most intimate way of connecting with the earth is through the food you eat and the water you drink. 
So you may receive messages or revelations about changing your diet to help you connect with Mother Earth in a healthier way. You may also receive messages or lessons about playing a role of healing or leadership in either health or environmental issues. No matter what arises, your angels are guiding you to blaze your light. If you're listening to these messages, then you have the power to be a leader for the new earth and help to model the energy of harmony with material supply, physical health, and mother nature. Pluto, the planet of transformation, is very active under this solar eclipse, so this can help bring never-before-imagined opportunities and awakening regarding changing our relationship with each other and with the Earth. Trust and listen to the messages you receive. Walk through the doors of opportunity that appear on your life's path. Know that the rebirth and transformation you're undergoing is helping you to ground the new earth into the physical 3D realm now. All you need to do is open to it, trust, and shine your light. Thank you so much for listening to these messages and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. It is my honor to be connected with you and I'd love to keep in touch, so do check out the links I left for you in the description below to connect with me across social media and join my email list. I also left the link to my solar eclipse meditation for you in the description below, so be sure to check that out so that you can align with this energy in the best possible way. Thank you so much again for your beautiful presence here and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!